This is a little thing I invented. Say you're at work and it's a really boring meeting, because we've all been in a really boring meeting. How do you make it a little more fun? Especially if somebody's doing like a really a boring PowerPoint presentation. It's a little game I came up with called uh, Name That Graph. Okay? <laughs> Basically, when somebody has a really busy graph, you try to title the graph at a name it really isn't. For example, I've seen this one before. This is a very common one. I never always hated these kind of graphs. Uh, and name it, is that uh, A, revenue by sector? It's probably what it really is. Uh, B, uh, barber pole and acid? <laughs> or is it C, the tie I gave my dad for Father's Day when I was six? <laughs> Hey there, and welcome to Comedy in Place, the comedy show that comes to you from my office right here in my home in Southern California. I am your host, Don McMillan. Warning, warning, this show is extremely graphic. That is right, that's what I called it, extremely graphic, because it's all about graphs. So if you thought it was going to be somehow sexually or violently graphic, now, sorry, just a lot of graphs, you're going to be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed that uh, opening clip. Uh, it was a little game I call Name That Graph. There's more of that coming up later, so stick around at the end of today's show. In the meantime, I have two observations to make about graphs in this Comedy in Place segment. Uh, and the first two, I'm going to get to my PowerPoints right now, because how would I do any kind of graphical bit without PowerPoint? But we'll go to my PowerPoints right now, because... So here we go. I have an observation to make, and then a little recommendation when, you about, when you're making your graphs. The first one is that I've sat through a million sales and marketing presentations, and every sales and marketing presentation I've ever sat through, you will always see a graph that looks like this. It will always start low to the left and go up to the right. Every graph from a sales and marketing person you will ever see, and very basically it's this. Where we are now, that's bad. It's bad. We need our sales, our revenue, our profit, our margins, our salaries, our stock price. All has to go up, right? It's always got to go up and to the right, up and to the right. Okay, when we're halfway there, that's good, but we, it's better, but we gotta do better. And what we really wanna be is up there. That's good, we wanna be way up there. Every sales and marketing slide, you're, the minute you see a sales and marketing person present, that's what you're gonna see right there. There's only one time you'll ever see one go the other direction. That, that goes from up and to the left and down and to the right, and that's when it comes to costs. And that's usually not a sales and marketing person, it's usually your CFO. They're the only ones who have down slopes because they want to see costs go down, right? Your sales and marketing people just want the slope to go from down left to up right. So that is just a little observation. If you're in sales and marketing and your graph goes from upper left to down to the right, don't show anybody that graph, you will be fired. Recommendation number one. Okay, now I want to get to the next thing. You have to realize when you're making a graph, the Y axis is your friend. Use the y-axis. It's there to help you. I'll give you a perfect example. Now, I'm just going to lay this out as an example. These are financial facts for my fictional company right there from 2015 to 2019. My company makes about $1.2 million per year starting in 2015. Now, we didn't have a great little four years there. The company made a dollar more in 2016, $2 more in 2017, $4 more in 2018, and only $8 more in 2019. Now, if you throw that on a graph right here, that does not look good, okay? If you're making $1.2 million a year and you're only going up a couple of dollars a year, your earnings are flat, man. That is no growth. That is bad. That is sucky. What do we do? What do we do? This is where the y-axis is your friend. See right there, the y-axis goes from zero to two million. Forget that. Change the y-axis. We go from 1,199,992 to 1,200,019. Uh, Look what happens. All of a sudden, we have exponential growth. Same values, same values of growth, but that looks so much better. You're gonna inspire your sales and marketing and engineering and all those people, because look, we're growing exponentially. It's all about how you choose your y-axis. Your y-axis is your friend. Be smart about how you choose your min-max values on the y-axis. The key to success from this engineer in sales and marketing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, stick around. There's a video coming up that's got some uh, more Name That Graph, that tremendous game show, Name That Graph, which, again, will give you a little fun next time you're sitting in a long presentation when you look at a graph to go, oh, yeah, that, you know what? That really could be. So enjoy that. In the meantime, keep laughing. Here comes your video. Uh, here's one. It's very common. Do you ever see a graph that doesn't go up and to the right? It's just it's how they all go. It's like an unwritten law. And that could be revenue by year. That could be a name of name A. B, that could be price of gas in May. <laughs> We've all noticed that. Or C, the effects of Viagra. <laughs> this is a fun game in meetings. Uh, there's your basic sine wave. Is it A? We named this graph a sine wave. Uh, B, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. <laughs> Or C, uh, Oprah's weight. 
Oprah fans. It's a joke. Uh, here's a good uh, product bubble chart. I hate these bubble charts. People like, there's the Z-series and the P1 and the Z-series, the TI-30. Or is that B, the uh, type of pill by color? There's Paxil, Prozac, Cocaine, <laughs> some bulk of Viagra. Check the colors. I did research on this. Or is it C, uh, amount of gas by bean? Uh, pink, uh, white, lime, uh, brown, so, uh, volume of gas versus pungency. Pungency? You know what I mean. This is a fun game. Uh, there's a, this is an actual chart. What the hell is going on here? That's actually a process flow chart from some company I work for. And then there's B, uh, that's Christmas wrapping. Or is it C, the mating habits of flatworms? Uh, this is an actual diagram, I swear. This is a Windows Vista state diagram. It's what it really is, which explains a lot. Or is it uh, B, uh, the FEMA org chart? Or is it C, a uh, hairball? It's a hairball, actually. Uh, this is a good one. Barrels of oil per week. Or is it a uh, B, golf balls lost per hole? Or is it C, uh, a back game? game, game. It'd be funnier if I said it right. And then uh, this is the last one. It's your basic pulse wave. It's time. Pulse wave goes up to one. Uh, B, uh, Paris Hilton brain activity. Ooh, pretty, uh, that's hot, uh, shiny, and ouch. Or is it C, a frequency of sex uh, when you're married? Uh, anniversary.